biblical counseling is the understanding from the Word of God in Romans chapter 15 and verse 14 that true believers, that is every true believer who has been saved by God and who has is indwelt by the Spirit of God, is filled with all goodness, and he is able to admonish one another. Biblical counseling is really the ongoing discipleship in practicing the one another's in the context of a local church. That's biblical counseling. Biblical counseling is taking the Word of God and applying the Word of God and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ to any and every situation in life. Now, the Bible may not directly address every issue that some people deal with in our modern-day era, but what the Word of God will do is it will drive true believers to the gospel, and it will drive believers to the Lord Jesus Christ and to His sufficiency and to Him as the only sufficient joy and the perfect, reliable source. And we can look at Christ as to how we ought to respond when hardships and tribulations and disasters come our way in life. Biblical counseling is the conviction that the Bible is the sufficient Word of God. It is inerrant, yes. It is inspired, yes. It is infallible, sure. And it is authoritative, absolutely. But biblical counseling is unique because it takes the Bible, the written Word of God, as the sufficient source for, for coming to human beings to address any conflict, any issue, any hardship, any distress that they are going through with the Word of God and bringing the balm of the gospel to bear in their troubles. So if somebody is battling with depression, we can go to the Psalms. If somebody is battling with others who are mocking and ridiculing them and bad-mouthing them and, and jeering at them, we could go to 1 Timothy 2 and look at the example of Christ and how he received it and how he responded. Uh, if somebody is dealing with life tragedies, we could go to the book of Job, chapters 1 and 2, and look at how Job dealt with some of the most severe afflictions that people could ever battle with. Uh, people, are deal people that battle with financial hardships. We can go to the Word of God and examine it there in 1 Timothy chapter 6. If somebody is battling addictions to drugs or to alcohol, we can go to Ephesians chapter 5 and, and many other scriptures. Because the Word of God is so living and it is so active, and we believe that man is so sinful that the only true medicine, as it were, the only true help that can adequately deal not just with the symptoms that we deal with, but the real heart issue comes from the Word of God, the gospel of God, and the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we practice biblical counseling at Christ Fellowship Bible Church.